I'ma show you that where you from, no matter to me She said, hola, come on, stop She said, konnichiwa She said, pardon my French I said, but do my right what is up guys, it is your boy Nyan Flo here, back with another Clash Royale video. And today we will be trying to push back up to Legendary Arena. We were at 3000 cups, but we did drop down however, but we are trying to push back up. And if you guys did not know, once you hit Legendary Arena, you do get a Legendary that can, can, not always, will come in the shop. And as you can see in the top right, I do have 2,844 gems, and I am ready to buy one once it pops up. However, they do cost 40,000 coins, which is why when, which is why like why I bought all these gems so I can afford to get it. Because right now I have nowhere near 40,000 coins, and we are we have been pushing up with this Royal Giant and Hog Rider deck. And it's really a hog cycle, but with the Royal Giant in. The elixir cost is 3.6, but that is no need to worry because we have been doing very good with this deck. And I haven't been losing much. I have lost occasionally with this deck. Out of like 15 matches, I probably only lost 3 and drew about like 3 or 4. Which isn't too bad because draws aren't the end of the world, but you don't get anything out of them unless you have your crown chest. But... We're gonna unlock this gold chest just because it unlocked, and we get three or we get three, three musketeers. Not like actually three musketeers, but you know. All right, we're gonna be hopping into a live battle right now, and let's get into this. We are coming up against Easy Money Sniper from Coco Royale, and the starting deck I am not a fan of. Just because I don't like elixir pumps, I'm going to fireball that. And because I didn't have much of a good starting deck anyways. But he does have the ice wizard, which really, really irritates me. Like, I do not like the, the ice wizard whatsoever. We're going to zap those before they kill my minions. And it is an even elixir trade, so it is not the end of the world. We're going to throw my hog on this side. He's going to throw the valkyrie. And we will get a few hits off with that hog. Which will do a little more damage than his royal giant did on my right tower as you can see. And he's going to throw that pump down. And I do know he is low on elixir so I am going to push. And the only reason I wouldn't have done that otherwise was because he threw that pump down. But we do take his tower under a thousand health. We are very low on elixir compared to him. But it's not the end of the world. Those barbarians are going to get a few hits off. If Yeah, see, and they barely did any damage. Although he does that have that pump in the top right. It's, I'd say we were winning. He's probably winning on the elixir advantage right now by quite a... Oh, he left. Okay, just, you know. Gonna push up. Hopefully, I do not know why he left. But I will not complain one single bit. We will push for this 3 count. Just keep throwing down some troops. I don't know why he left, unless his game maybe have cut out, but looks like Coco will give us the free win, which I have no complaints about whatsoever. And we do get a silver chest, and we are at 29.32 cups. I will be showing you another replay, and it will be against... This guy right here. I don't know how to pronounce his name, so, you know. Alright. So, like here, I didn't have a very good starting deck, but I did have the Spear Gobs just to cycle back to my princess. So I throw the Spear Gobs to the top left just to hit away on some damage. I knew he wasn't going to counter, but he did have a very good counter push to me with that, with that uh, P.E.K.K.A. Mini P.E.K.K.A which took out a decent amount of my tower so i do throw the royal giant down and he will throw a cannon down which my royal giant was hitting the tower and then that mini pekka pushed him back so he started aiming at the cannon and he comes back at me with a mini pekka again now we are at an elixir disadvantage by one but it's not the end of the world we do have a princess he's gonna have to do something about that 
and he throws some goblins down and starts his push, his counter push. And I throw my barbs down to counter, he's gonna zap it, which I don't, it was a good zap, I'm gonna admit, cause that, otherwise that, that uh, hog rider probably wouldn't have got a single hit off, but he did because he zapped it. Now, right here I zapped, and I did take out his, his uh, spear goblins, which was probably my best zap ever you couldn't see the spear gobs like go away but they did die because on the t on you the top you can see that he dropped them he had two elixir he dropped them and i zapped that the tower and the cannon and it killed those spear goblins which helped me take his tower to under 500 or at 500 health he's gonna fireball and he misses so i hit him with the wow <laughs> I don't know, kind of a little disrespect. Probably shouldn't have done that, but you know, it's whatever. We're trying to win here. I'm trying to discourage the opponent a little bit because he knows he messed up, so he's at a he knows he's at a very low elixir advantage. And right here, you know I'm gonna I know I'm gonna take down that tower on the right, so I'm just gonna start my push on the left. And he counters me with a hog. And uh, you can see I don't have anything to really counteract with that push he has going on the left. But I do take that tower down, I'm gonna zap that right tower down, and yeah, that pretty much conclude the game that concludes the game. I'll speed it up here. And this deck has been doing fantastically. I'm really liking it. It's I don't know, and not much can counter it, except probably the Sparky, which that I played against and it did very well against me. I don't know. But you know. That's it for the gameplay, guys, and have a good day, and I'll be back tomorrow. Peace out. I'ma show you that where you from, no matter to me. She said, hola, come on, stop. She said, konnichiwa. She said, pardon my French. I said, bonjour, my Then she said, sabase.